he was like a fish in the water, you know, jumping and trying to... Uh, no, no chance. If you watch tennis, you know what's going to happen. Cuevas does one of these fake overheads between the leg shots, which was pretty crazy. Twinner, like a twinner drop shot. The fake smash. Okay. Twinner. Pretty positive, I know what the clip is. Yup. <laughs> I was just thinking, how the hell did he pull it off? <laughs> Everyone knows that. I don't think I got it on the locker. That's magnificent. And no wonder they're on their feet. They should be. So I see Kenny Shikari playing with uh, with Stan Wawrinka in Toronto. I think I remember this one pretty well. This one, I have no idea what is this. He's gonna miss. Uh, I think a smash. Ah, he missed. Wawrinka missed an unbelievable shot. <laughs> and Wawrinka missing that easy one over the net. I remember like a smash or something, like overhead. Oh, oh my god. It's pretty difficult to miss a shot like that. Like you really need to hard to, to try really hard to miss that. Who's Stan? Yeah, that's, I actually think he just didn't like wasn't sure what to do with it because it was so easy. What are you thinking? Come on, Stan. Impossible to miss. I would do that myself for sure as well, so. <laughs> for sure Rafa is gonna make a passing. Novak plays the drop shot, so Rafa probably should hit him. That's, that's my guess. I wanna say he hits like a really nice angle cross court backhand here. I think Rafa will go full to to the body. Yeah, when I hit uh, hits the ball into the Djokovic's face. Oh, he hit him! Oh, I tell you what, that's smart. Novak was really upset. Oh! And Rafa was like, what do you want me to do? Just play it on your body. I think it's, it's fair to play the body. Oh, he hits him in the face, wow. Not a bad decision from Rafa because he's in a very tricky position and the shot in the middle is actually a good one. Not to the face though. That's a legitimate shot, Nadal is apologizing. No, it doesn't seem too fond of that shot, so. <laughs> I, I know everything. <laughs> oh, this one's also legendary. I have no idea. At uh, this one, I have no idea. It's Berdic Tipsarevic. Match point? Ooh, I don't remember this one. Tipsarevic slips and then slips again and goes for like diving shot or whatever, but uh, let's see. 7 6 match point Berdic. Surf wide. I think return winner from Tipsarevic back on. I remember that, the, that point. Uh, sorry, it's return, and, and then he he fall. Yanko just keeps tripping. I remember that. Couldn't get up. And I was on match point, I think, as well, right? Okay. Yeah, slips there, and okay, slips again. <laughs> I was right. And on matches like this is uh, it's not a, a good enough. Four marks to Tipsarevic for Evans. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he was like a fish in the water, you know, jumping and trying to... Uh, no, no chance. Okay, so fish playing uh, Harrison. I have no idea what will happen. Marty literally falls into the net and flips over the net. Fish is gonna... Fell and he will fall all over the net. Marty Fish <laughs> is gonna get caught in the net, a fish caught in the net. I think he stumbles over the net. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's brilliant.
feel like he had enough time to slow down. He lost the point, obviously, with that, right? Yeah. I would hope so. <laughs> Lovely scenes. I don't know. Somebody will come on the court naked. <laughs> Roger's gonna win the match and he's not gonna realize that he has won the match. He will keep playing and it was a match, game set and match. Or maybe a pigeon. I think what happens here is Fedor doesn't realize he's won the match. I remember what happened here. It's quite strange that a person like him would make that mistake. Ah, it's finished. Oh, the match is done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. I've, every time I've won the match, I know, I've known I don't want it. It's pretty amazing. It means he, like, it's, a, it's kind of a pressure situation, and he's obviously not nervous at all because he doesn't even, he's not even thinking about the score. So maybe that's a, a lesson to everybody else. He's played so many matches, he should know when he has won it. <laughs> you don't want to know the score. Sometimes yeah. it helps you not to know the score. So you can just play every point. Gal is gonna like try to hit like an overhead winner out of like Rafa's overhead. Oh, I don't know this one. Oh, I can't remember this. One sec, one sec, one sec. I need to, uh, I've watched that one. Crazy catch by Gael. So Nadal is going to be dictating the point and Monfils is going to do a crazy passing shot or something. I don't know, here for sure, long rally. Oh no, no chance, no chance. She's going to lose the point because, <laughs> yes. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's not a percentage shot from, <laughs> from Gael. <laughs> Look how much he jumped. I wish I had those legs. Am I the first one to get six out of ten? Okay, six for seven. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs>